CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 2 Fractions and Decimals Page 48 2.6 Multiplication of Decimal Numbers Reshma purchased 1.5 kilogram vegetable at the rate of 8.50 rupees per kilogram. How much money should she pay? Certainly it would be 8.50 multiplied by 1.50 rupees. Both 8.5 and 1.5 are decimal numbers. So we have come across a situation where we need to know how to multiply two decimals. Let us now learn the multiplication of two decimal numbers. First, we find 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1. Now, 0 0.1 is equal to 1 upon 10. So, 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 is equal to 1 upon 10 multiplied by 1 upon 10, which is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 upon 10 multiplied by 10, which is equal to 1 upon 100, which is equal to 0 0.01. Let us see its pictorial representation. Figure 2.13 Figure 2.13 in this figure, a rectangle is given in which one-tenth part is shaded. The fraction 1 upon 10 represents one part out of 10 equal parts. The shaded part in the picture represents 1 upon 10. We know that 1 upon 10 multiplied by 1 upon 10 means one-tenth of 1 upon 10. So, divide this one-tenth part into ten equal parts and take one part out of it. Page 49 Thus, we have Figure 2.14 In this figure, a rectangle is given in which one-tenth part is shaded and out of the shaded part, one hundredth box contains a dot. The dotted square is one part out of ten of the one tenth part. That is, it represents one upon ten multiplied by one upon ten, or zero point one multiplied by zero point one. Can the dotted square be represented in some other way? How many small squares do you find in figure 2.14? There are hundred small squares. So, the dotted square represents 1 out of 100 or 0 0.01. Hence, 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.01. Note that 0 0.1 occurs two times in the product. In 0 0.1, there is one digit to the right of the decimal point. In 0 0.01, there are two digits, that is 1 plus 1, to the right of the decimal point. Let us now find 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.3. We have 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.3 equal to 2 upon 10 multiplied by 3 upon 10. As we did for 1 upon 10 multiplied by 1 upon 10, let us divide the square into 10 equal parts and take 3 parts out of it to get 3 upon 10. Again, divide each of these 3 equal parts into 10 equal parts and take 2 from each. We get 2 upon 10 multiplied by 3 upon 10. The dotted squares represent 2 upon 10 multiplied by 
3 upon 10 or 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.3 figure 2.15 in this figure a rectangle is given in which three tenth parts are shaded and out of the shaded parts 6 upon 100 boxes contains a dot since there are six dotted squares out of 100 so they also represent 0 0.06 page 50 thus 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.06 observe that 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 and the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in 0 0.06 is 2 which is equal to 1 plus 1 check whether this applies to 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 also find 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.4 by applying these observations while finding 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.3 you might have noticed that first we multiplied them as whole numbers ignoring the decimal point in 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 we found 0 1 multiplied by 0 1 or 1 multiplied by 1 similarly in 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.3 we found 0 2 multiplied by 0 3 or 2 multiplied by 3 then we counted the number of digits starting from the rightmost digit and moved towards left we then put the decimal point there the number of digits to be counted is obtained by adding the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in the decimal numbers that are being multiplied let us now find 1.2 multiplied by 2.5 multiply 12 and 25 we get 300 both in 1.2 and 2.5 there is one digit to the right of the decimal point so count 1 plus 1 equal to 2 digits from the rightmost digit that is 0 in 300 and move towards left we get 3.00 or 3 find in a similar way 1.5 multiplied by 1.6 2.4 multiplied by 4.2 while multiplying 2.5 and 1.25 you will first multiply 25 and 125 for placing the decimal in the product obtained you will count 1 plus 2 equal to 3 why digits starting from the rightmost digit thus 2.5 multiplied by 1.25 is equal to 3.225. Find 2.7 multiplied by 1.35. Try these. 1. Find 1. 2.7 multiplied by 4. 2. 1.8 multiplied by 1.2 3 2.3 multiplied by 4.35 2 arrange the products obtained in 1 in descending order example 7 the side of an equilateral triangle is 3.5 cm find its perimeter solution all the sides of an equilateral triangle are equal so length of each side is equal to 3.5 centimeters thus 
perimeter is equal to 3 multiplied by 3.5 centimeters, which is equal to 10.5 centimeters. Example 8. The length of a rectangle is 7.1 centimeters and its breadth is 2.5 centimeters. What is the area of the rectangle? Solution. Length of the rectangle is equal to 7.1 centimeters. Breadth of the rectangle is equal to 2.5 centimeters. Therefore, area of the rectangle is equal to 7.1 multiplied by 2.5 square centimeter, which is equal to 17.75 square centimeter. Page 51. 2.6.1 Multiplication of decimal numbers by 10, 100 and 1000 Reshma observed that 2.3 is equal to 23 upon 10 whereas 2.35 is equal to 235 upon 100 Thus, she found that Depending on the position of the decimal point, the decimal number can be converted to a fraction with denominator 10 or 100. She wondered what would happen if a decimal number is multiplied by 10 or 100 or 1000. Let us see if we can find a pattern of multiplying numbers by 10 or 100 or 1000. Have a look at the table given below and fill in the blanks. 1.76 multiplied by 10 is equal to 176 upon 100 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 17.6 1.76 multiplied by 100 is equal to 176 upon 100 multiplied by 100 which is equal to 176 or 176.0 1.76 multiplied by 1000 is equal to 176 upon 100 multiplied by 1000 which is equal to 1760 or 1760.0 2.35 multiplied by 10 is equal to dash 2.35 multiplied by 100 is equal to dash 2.35 multiplied by 1000 is equal to dash. 12.356 multiplied by 10 is equal to dash. 12.356 multiplied by 100 is equal to dash. 12.356 multiplied by 1000 is equal to dash. 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 is equal to 5 upon 10 multiplied by 10 is equal to 5. 0 0.5 multiplied by 100 is equal to dash. 0 0.5 multiplied by 1000 is equal to dash. Observe the shift of the decimal point of the products in the table. Here, the numbers are multiplied by 10, 100 and 1000. In 1.76 multiplied by 10 equal to 17.6, the digits are same, that is, 1, 7 and 6. Do you observe this in other products also? Observe 1.76 and 17.6. To which side has the decimal point shifted, right or left? The decimal point has shifted to the right by one place. Note that 
10 has 1 0 over 1. In 1.76 multiplied by 100 equal to 176.0, observe 1.76 and 176.0. To which side and by how many digits has the decimal point shifted? The decimal point has shifted to the right by two places. Note that 100 has two zeros over one. Do you observe similar shifting of decimal point in other products also? So we say, when a decimal number is multiplied by 10, 100 or 1000, the digits in the product are same as in the decimal number, but the decimal point in the product is shifted to the right by as many of places as there are zeros over 1. Based on these observations, we can now say 0 0.07 multiplied by 10 is equal to 0 0.7. 0 0.07 multiplied by 100 is equal to 7. And 0 0.07 multiplied by 1000 is equal to 70. Can you now tell 2.97 multiplied by 10 is equal to dash? 2.97 multiplied by 100 is equal to dash. 2.97 multiplied by 1000 is equal to dash. Can you now help Reshma to find the total amount, that is, rupees 8.50 multiplied by 150 that she has to pay? Try these. Find 1. 0 0.3 multiplied by 10. 2. 1.2 multiplied by 100. 3. 56.3 multiplied by 1000. Page 52. Exercise 2.6. 1. Find 1. 0 0.2 multiplied by 6. 2. 8 multiplied by 4.6. 3. 2.71 multiplied by 5. 4. 20.1 multiplied by 4. 5. 0 0.05 multiplied by 7. 6. 211.02 multiplied by 4. 7. 2 multiplied by 0 0.86. 2. Find the area of rectangle whose length is 5.7 cm and breadth is 3 cm. 3. Find 1. 1 1.3 multiplied by 10. 2. 36.8 multiplied by 10. 3. 153.7 multiplied by 10. 4. 168.07 multiplied by 10. 5. 31.1 multiplied by 100. 6. 156.1 multiplied by 100. 7. 3.62 multiplied by 100. 8. 43.07 multiplied by 100. 9. 0 0.5 multiplied by 10. 10. 0 0.08 multiplied by 10. 11. 0 0.9 multiplied by 100. 12. 0 0.03 multiplied by 1000. 4. A two-wheeler covers a distance of 55.3 kilometers in one liter of petrol. How much distance will it cover in 10 liters of petrol? 5. Find 1. 2.5 multiplied by 0 0.3 2. 
0 0.1 multiplied by 51.7 3 0 0.2 multiplied by 316.8 4 1.3 multiplied by 3.1 5 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.05 6 11.2 multiplied by 0 0.15 7 1.07 multiplied by 0 0.02 8 10.05 multiplied by 1.05 9 101.01 multiplied by 0 0.01 10 100.01 multiplied by 1.1 2.7 Division of Decimal Numbers Savita was preparing a design to decorate her classroom. She needed a few coloured strips of paper of length 1.9 cm each. She had a strip of coloured paper of length 9.5 cm. How many pieces of the required length will she get out of this strip? She thought it would be 9.5 divided by 1.9 cm. Is she correct? Both 9.5 and 1.9 are decimal numbers. So, we need to know the division of decimal numbers too. 2.7.1 Division by 10, 100 and 1000 Let us find the division of a decimal number by 10, 100 and 1000. Consider 31.5 divided by 10. 31.5 divided by 10 is equal to 315 upon 10 multiplied by 1 upon 10, which is equal to 315 upon 100, which is equal to 3.15. Similarly, 31.5 divided by 100 is equal to 315 upon 10 multiplied by 1 upon 100, which is equal to 315 upon 1000, which is equal to 0 0.315. Let us see if we can find a pattern for dividing numbers by 10, 100 or 1000. This may help us in dividing numbers by 10, 100 or thousand in a shorter way. 31.5 divided by 10 is equal to 3.15. 31.5 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.315. 31.5 divided by 1000 is equal to 0 0.0315. 231.5 divided by 10 is equal to dash. 231.5 divided by 100 is equal to dash. 231.5 divided by 1000 is equal to dash. 1.5 divided by 10 is equal to dash. 1.5 divided by 100 is equal to dash. 1.5 divided by 1000 is equal to dash. 29.36 divided by 10 is equal to dash. 29.36 divided by 100 is equal to dash. 29.36 divided by 1000 is equal to dash. Page 53. Take 31.5 divided by 10 equal to 3.15. In 31.5 and 3.15, the digits are same, that is 3, 1 and 5. But the decimal point has shifted in the quotient. 
to which side and by how many digits? The decimal point has shifted to the left by one place. Note that 10 has 1 0 over 1. Consider now 31.5 divided by 100 equal to 0 0.315. In 31.5 and 0 0.315, the digits are same, but what about the decimal point in the quotient? It has shifted to the left by two places. Note that 100 has two zeros over 1. So, we can say that while dividing a number by 10, 100 or 1000, the digits of the number and the quotient are same, but the decimal point in the quotient shifts to the left by as many places as there are zeros over 1. Using this observation, let us now quickly find 2.38 divided by 10 equal to 0 0.238. 2.38 divided by 100 equal to 0 0.0238. 2.38 divided by 1000 equal to 0 0.00238. Try these. Find 1. 235.4 divided by 10. 2. 235.4 divided by 100. 3. 235.4 divided by 1000. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India